Welcome home. You guys are here on the Carl and Ginger Family Channel, and I have brought in the resident safe cracking experts. I have Carter Share and guys? Lizzie over here, and these guys have been through a ton. We found a safe, and we've been through trying to crack it, and we finally opened it. The cops were called, the FBI came, we got arrested. A lot of crazy stuff happened, so we're here to help you try to crack this safe open now. Right, I mean, we found this thing buried in the backyard. It's a big, long story, so instead of trying to explain it all, here are some highlights to bring you guys up to speed as to what's going on. And we heard something thump or bang around and it woke us up. We're going back down in the crawl space to investigate. Ouch! Oh man! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's open, it's open, it's open, look. Whoa! What is this? Did you find the chain? There's a piece of chain right here. Go! Whoa! Whoa! Wow, wow, that is a really big safe. I cannot believe that this is what was under the ground. So with that in mind, we've got some really awesome advice and some tools here. We've got voltage meters, we've got temperature sensors, and all kinds of really cool secret spy cameras. We're gonna follow Carter and Lizzie's advice, and we're gonna try and find any more clues that we can as to how we can get this safe open, because every day's a new day. Let's make it an awesome one. They kind of look like fingerprints, but they're like really big. Oh, here's a good piece right here. Let's try that. Oh, if there's any kind of chemicals leaking out of this, it should show up when we turn on these special lights. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> so first things first, uh, you want to make sure you put on gloves because I, you don't want to put your fingerprints on the safe in case the authorities get involved. They might be checking for fingerprints. So have you already touched it? We've already been like dropping sledgehammers and bowling balls on it from Ooh. high places and yeah. like carrying it around. So it might already be really contaminated, but the first thing we got to do is check for fingerprints. Yeah, right? because there could be other fingerprints on here and those could be clues that the authorities could use. Right. Carter actually got arrested and they like, did they actually seize your safe and go through it all and do all this already? Yeah, so when I finally got it open, we called the cops. They came over to investigate what was inside the safe. So we did all the hard work to open it right. and then they went on the investigation to figure out where it all came from. Gotcha. But we found this buried in our property. We took it to California to Daily Bump's house. Right here we almost cracked the back of the safe all the way open but then the authorities called and they said because we took it across state lines we shouldn't open it there or they would definitely have to seize it. Ooh. But we've got it here at our house and we can actually do this investigation and they gave us permission to do that. Are you guys ready? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay so good. first things first we got a dust for fingerprints. We have our fingerprint testing kit here. We gotta be really careful not to touch the safe, but we have talcum powder here in this little bottle. It's just like a really fine powder, basically like baby powder. And then we have like a brush so that we can smooth it out on there. We have tape so that you can, if we find any thumbprints or fingerprints, you can actually peel it up and then we put it in the ev evidence bag. That's what we were told to do. That's what they told you guys to do. Yeah. So we're gonna try and do that here. Does anybody have any experience with this? Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. I actually took a class where we did something like this. So you did? Maybe I could do that. Okay, I'll well, I'll grab Let's the camera. You come over here and maybe you and Liz will try this part and we'll see if we can find any evidence. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, Gingerific's ready. You guys ready to do this? Yeah, I'm just so scared because the last time I touched the safe, we got in so much trouble. We checked everything out. I think okay. you guys are safe. So. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. we gotta get the talcum powder and we're just gonna lightly dust it. You just want it very lightly. So the idea is, is that the powder will stick to the oils on your fingers and then you can use this tape and you can actually pick up the powder and see the fingerprint and then maybe we can send it off to look for clues or see if we can match it with whoever put the safe in the backyard. Ooh, Ginger, you should definitely try the dial. I feel like people must have definitely touched that. There oh, we go. Oh, that was a good one. That was Is good. Is that a print right there? I can't tell. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me get, get a little more. I think we've handled it so much right there, trying to get it open already, just messing <laughs> around, that we probably wiped anything off of there that was there. But nothing yet. It just yeah. looks like the talcum powder so far. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty so crazy. Smooth. Whoa! Here, whoa, the brush. whoa, whoa, look at this. What, what is that? Whoa! Can you guys see that? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Do you see anything yeah, right there? Yeah, I see like lines. Oh my yes, gosh, I yes, see yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. It. Whoa, yeah, what is that? They kind of look like fingerprints, but they're like really big. It totally looks exactly like somebody grabbed the safe like right there. Yeah, but they had awesome. very really long, long fingers. fingers. Maybe it's that the way like, that I'm And there's only this. three. Good point. There's yeah, only there's only three. three fingers. Yeah. Whoa, there's more right there. I can see it <gasps> in the oh, camera. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, that's whoa, a that's lot weird. of stuff on there. So there's yeah, that's three really fingers again. Weird. 
Look at this, guys. We got Someone one. must have grabbed it like this. And look how long it is compared to my finger. pick it up or something? Yeah, it's like crazy. almost twice as long as my finger. One, two, three fingers. I'm getting kind of creeped three. out. Let's I know, this is a little creepy. Let's look up close right here. And look, the tip is like pointy and weird. That looks like a nail, like a Ooh. fingernail yeah. or something. We found some fingerprints. Maybe this we should try so to weird. get the tape okay, let's and see if that. we can extract these fingerprints off this of the This is stick. so weird. Oh my gosh, there you go. Careful, just look careful. Don't push down too hard. They said just barely let it stick and it'll get the talcum powder. Good. Barely go like this and there it gets go. the powder. Okay, now lift. Let's see if it worked. I totally see it. You can it see is. the look fingers on there. It's oh, really hard to see weird. on camera, but you, you, you can, can definitely see the two Yeah, fingers. the patterns are sure. very odd. You know, I think that's gonna be good enough to run it through the system. Oh, and no. the prints. <laughs> okay. That was pretty good though. Okay, so we're gonna stick this in the evidence bag. We're gonna tape up the rest of these prints and send them off for analysis. Ooh, okay, so this one, it looks like this Order is gonna be a really one. good one. We got two pieces of tape on it. All three fingers together. Oh, it's like one big print in there. Yeah, let's get that in the bag and we'll tag it and we'll uh, send it off. All right, so Carter brought some of these special electrical tools and testing equipment. Yeah. I'm not familiar with any of this, so why don't you explain how okay, this is Okay, so this works. we got this right here. This is a multimeter and it has, it's capable of detecting uh, different electrical currents or voltages that are within the safe. My thoughts are since the safe looks a little bit maybe newer than the one that we had, it's possible there's an extra level of security mm. in the safe. There right. could be GPS tracking in there, there could be other electrical circuits in there, so if it opens up, an alarm could go off. We wanna just kinda of probe the safe a little bit to see if there's any electricity flowing in the safe. Let's try something by the lock. Let's try to do two different probes here. Okay. So is this thing gonna like beep, or should the numbers change if there's yeah. anything happening? Uh, so if we detect any sort of electrical current, this thing should make some noise, right. and it'll indicate that we found something. So I'm not finding anything here, but we had to connect to two conductive points so it means that we need to find two pieces of bare metal there's parts where we smashed open and then there's holes where we drilled in keep an eye on the meter guys and tell us if you see it moving let's try oh here's a good piece right here let's try that oh whoa. what is whoa did we find something carter why is it beeping are the numbers changing carter why is yes it the numbers are totally changing so there might be like some sort of extra security built into the safe that you might want to be careful about. Really? I See, we probably know. should have done all of this before we started smashing it with bowling balls, right? Yeah, you <laughs> might have been, you guys might have been really close to setting something off. So again, we gotta find two different pieces. So let's see. There you oh. go. Yeah, I think there's definitely something mm. going on with this safe here. So we're gonna have to be careful as we proceed and make sure that if we see any wires or anything that gets exposed along the way, we would be really careful. All right, so we've tried um, dusting for fingerprints. We've tried um, for electrical currents, which we did find both of those. Now we're gonna yeah. check it with the heat sensor. So this actually tells us what the temperature is of the safe. So we're just gonna mm. be looking for any changes in temperature that might indicate that there's something maybe warm or cold inside. Yeah. Right, there we go, 73.3. 73.2 Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. right where that laser's pointing. Okay, so now we just start scanning okay. around. Yeah. Try the other side over there where it is. 72. It's like the same everywhere. Heat rises in the cold sink, so we found a cold spot towards the front kind of. Whoa, Whoa Liz, that's really Whoa. cold. 50 degrees. Whoa, what? 60 Whoa. degrees. Where, right on the front? Right on the front. How is 57? That? Whoa! Wait, what? Why could, is it dropping yeah, so low? Yeah, what could it's, possibly be in there? This is the bottom crack right there. What's Something could there? be giving that off a different really temperature weird. inside. What's okay. in there? Oh, How my does fingers it have electrical like? curtains, curtains and be cold? We found weird three fingered fingerprints on top of the safe. When we dusted for fingerprints, it's electrically conductive. It's giving off like a cold signature across the front of this. I'm so scared. This is really weird, guys. We are finding some really interesting mysteries about this safe. And I think the more evidence we gather, the more confusing it gets. So tell us down in the comments below what you think is going on here and who you think is behind this. When we were at Daily Bump's house, mm -hmm. we used a big hammer drill and we drilled a big hole right through the top of the safe. Oh, yeah. And luckily, we've acquired this little spy camera right here that can take a really high definition photo of the inside of the safe using its own light source. We have this little spy printer printer uh, set up right here and it's hooked up to the camera. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna stick the spy camera down inside this drilled hole and see what's inside. It goes all the way down, yeah, right there. Yeah. So I'll stabilize the top right here. Right. And then there's the, you take the picture right on the bottom. Ready? Yeah, it should light up. There we go. Oh, I think it's working. There we go. Oh, oh is it, it's printing something. You guys, the suspense. Whoa. What if we find out the mystery right now? I what think if we're this is it. See. Yeah, we'll see what's inside finally. 
That's it. We have a photo inside the safe that we just took right there with that little spy camera. You ready? So it's a weird angle from the top down. So maybe if we get the perspective right, maybe it's something like this. The four little holes remind me of a cell phone, like those old style cell phones and that have like the ear holding. Right. Tell us what you guys think you see in this photo. It's really hard to see, but let us know down in the comments below. What do you think this picture reveals? Or is it just the wall? I don't know, it's hard to tell. The last thing that we need to test is for chemicals. We've already checked for fingerprints. Mm -hmm. We've looked for temperature uh, differentiation in this thing. We've checked for what, electrical? conductivity. Yeah, and even the camera too. That's right, yeah, we took a picture of the inside that was really mysterious that kind of revealed some clues. We might need to do some more analysis on this. The last thing to do to check for chemicals, so if there's any kind of chemicals leaking out of this or anything like that, it should show up when we turn on these special lights. Let's just see if there's any symbols or anything here. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Wait, Whoa. wait a second, wait a second. That's what, that was not, not there a second ago. Wait, turn off the light, quick. Wait. See if it goes away with the light. Just turn, if you turn the light away, it's got like gone. Whoa. There's chemical look, markings. Look, look, look. There's stuff it? on the dial. There's markings on here. I thought it was just gonna be like fluids leaking out or something where it was cold up here. One. Oh, look at that right there. Is that leaking out? I don't know. It's like glowing. This looks like a Z or like an X or a triangle. An arrow with a circle. Wait, look at the edge of the safe. It Whoa. Whoa, Carter, look at this. Yeah. Look at this side. Whoa. Whoa. It's That's, like a map. It's like a crop circle. What is that? This That's doesn't even make any sense. This is really weird. Look, this is right where Brian drilled a hole through, like when we were at his house, and we had no idea. What if there's more, you guys? Oh, I think there's some on the back, too. Whoa! What is it? Look what at is this it? one. This one's really cool. This is just impressions. I have no idea. But look, it looks like a planet and like a travel path. And is how this a map? Is it like a space map or something? That looks like an eyeball to me. So we've looked at the front, the side, and the back. What's over there, Carter? Let's see if we see anything on this so side. Okay. Well, there's nothing with no. Oh, right there. Oh. That one does look like a crop circle or something. This is really bizarre, this you guys. Is so mean. Are you guys at home familiar with any of these symbols at all? Because this doesn't make any sense to me. This doesn't look like it's even like human. Look at the top. There's more oh. circles. There's like Whoa. a dot pattern and a swirl. These look like those Wi Fi signals, like projections. Oh, it does look like Wi Fi. And look, there's like an arrow that points right here. Whoa. Like maybe there's something in there where we cut the front corner off. I think that what we need to do is follow this arrow and maybe see if we can dig into this side of the safe and find anything. Carter, what's usually Whoa. in there? Look at that. Look, what oh, is that? I don't know. It just smushed. What? Is it's it? a lot softer than I thought. Look at that. Whoa. It's pointing right where you're digging. Right. It's gonna be scary. really careful. Be careful. I don't know if you want to do this. This is exciting though, guys. This is like real life mystery. I know. I don't know if you want to be careful. Carl, I think you should be really yeah, careful here. Because we don't know what's inside here. I'm being that careful. Looks really gross. Even who drew these markings. I think you're, I don't know if you even want to know what's inside. There might not be anything Ew. in there. Whoa! Whoa! What? I don't know. Whoa. Ew! Don't touch it. Ew, that might what be alien that? or something. What is Ew. that? Ew, don't touch it. Ew, push it back I don't back think in. you should touch it. I think you should put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a stick. What is it, you guys? It looks really gross and old. It's like paper. Is it? It's literally like paper. Look, there's numbers. No way. No way. What does it say? One one three zero nine zero seven. What's on the end? It's like a V. A W or a V, v? or W? What is that? This is really bizarre, you guys. I don't understand that all of this. came out of the hole right there. Is there anything okay. else? Can we need to put this there? in another bag. And we'll see if we can secure this and we'll keep looking for evidence. How is it even in there? I don't know because when we were at Brian's house, we like cut this off with yeah. a grinder yeah. and there was nothing there. Wait, there was no indication. Have you guys even checked the bottom of the safe? That's where all the cold is coming from. No, we haven't. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. Just like this. I don't really see anything so far. Oh, there's yeah, nothing on the bottom. Yeah, oh, wait. Whoa. 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 That wait really second. looks like a, more like a compass, doesn't it? There's arrows. It's like arrows. A, it's a map. That says like, is that is north? It? Is that an end for north? We should get a pen and paper and write this yeah, down. Yeah, we, we should. Let's write this down. The thing is, is we don't know the order here. So as a human, I would think left to right as an American human, right? But who yeah. knows? But other countries read from like right. bottom so, to up or something, I think. Right. I don't know. Shows how much we know. I, I see a three to me. Three oh, look how that glow is so good right there. Who knows? I feel like I feel like 
this says 5-1. Yeah, that definitely looks like a 5-1, but it's hard to say. Yeah, it does look like a Maybe they're not numbers and they're just this symbols. Is a, Wait, is this that is a like, This is definitely a 15. That looks look like that. a 15, That's yeah. That's a 5 for sure. 57 or 37, 32, okay. unless it's just symbols and these are not even numbers well, yet. Well, this looks like a Roman numeral. That looks like an N. Like IV. I don't know, you guys. We're gonna have to figure this out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the safe, but I don't even think you should have it in the house. You should probably take it outside, I think. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on here, a lot to take in. We've got weird, like, three-fingered fingerprints, all sorts of neon colors and symbols and stuff to try and figure out. I don't know what this means. We don't know what's in there. It's giving off, like, a cold signature off the front. We're going to have to figure it out. Please let us know in the comments. Tell us what you think we should do and how we should get this thing open. Maybe it's a combination. That's what the numbers are. Maybe it's something to do with a map, I don't know. But if you guys like this video, click anywhere on the screen because we have a lot of other videos that'll give a lot of the backstory and get you up to speed. If you like this, you're gonna love these, so check those out. And also check out Lizzie's channel and Carter's channel. It's really awesome, you gotta go see their story, what they did with their abandoned safe. And in the meantime, you guys stay awesome and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.